This is Len Turcott, a state rep. Having been reelected, I want to say thank you for taking a few moments with Granite Grot. Sure, thanks. Yeah. So uh, please remind me, because sometimes I have a, a, a mind that's just a sieve. Sure. Who do you represent? What district and what towns? Sure. Uh, I'm in a new district this town. Uh, this time it's actually Stratford County District 4, which is the town of Barrington and Stratford. Previously, it was only the town of Barrington. Oh, very good. And this is going to be how many terms? Uh, this will be my fourth term. Uh, the first three terms uh, I served on la the Labor Committee. Uh, my past term I served not only on Labor, but I served on Finance, uh, Redistricting Committee, and as the House Majority Leader, uh, House Senior Advisor to the House Majority Leader, and I'm also a co-founder of the New Hampshire House Freedom Caucus. Oh, oh. A lot of my readers are going to be happy to hear that. So what do you think is going to happen in this new session? Because you've got a little bit of experience and wisdom going forward into what seems to be a very slim majority if it holds up. Sure. Um, unfortunately, I, I, I've been talking to everybody, and I believe what we're going to be doing this term, Skip, is we are going to be uh, fighting back against a lot of Democrat uh, their bills like we always do, but we're also going to be fighting them uh, as they try to repeal some of the more, uh, the better bills that we passed last term. Um, unfortunately, uh, our ability with our small numbers to actually move forward with any, what you and I might consider good legislation is going to be very, very, very difficult. So unfortunately, I see two years of uh, preventing the, the Democrats from doing any damage. Stalemate. Um, Mostly. Yeah, I would, I would be happy with a stalemate. I would ha be happy with a couple wins. Um, but again, I think we're going to be hard pressed to. Uh, we're going to be spending a lot of time pushing back. <laughs> yeah. I would imagine, from a practical standpoint, your biggest issue is going to be attendance. Attendance will be a big issue uh, with a slim majority we have right now, 203, 197, and that could change with some of the recounts. Going to be a very, very. Um, difficult thing to uh, maintain. I'll say last term, some of the things that we got uh, passed, um, we were able to do so with a, a technical thin majority, but what happened last term was due to the, uh, the mass mandates and all the, the COVID, we had 10 to 20, sometimes 30 uh, Democrats who wouldn't show up. So even though we still technically were at, uh, I forget where we were at the end of the term, 206 to 180-something, the numbers, our spread was actually greater than that because a lot of the Democrats weren't showing up. So that's how, uh, in my opinion, we were actually able to pass a little bit more than uh, we would have had everybody, had we not gone through COVID. Well, very good. I want to say thank you very much for taking a few moments with Granite Rock, even at the spur of the moment inside. Oh, no, it's him again. <laughs> but thank you very much. Thank you, Skip. Thanks All for right. uh, talking with me. Ta thank, thank you and take care. Uh, thanks. Whoops. Crop TV.